Hey everyone, not too long ago I reviewed this Xiaomi Smart Air Purifier 4 Lite and uh, it was pretty inexpensive, it does its job but um, I went and bought the carbon uh, activated charcoal insert and it doesn't fit so we're gonna work have a work around this so let me just show you here first if you have anything carbon like a carbon mask you should always leave it in the bag because carbon takes on moisture and it absorbs stuff just sitting still so to keep the carbon from uh, sucking up a bunch of pollutants when you don't want it to you should always keep it in the bag but anyways we have this uh, insert that's supposed to go inside the previous filter or the the filter that's already in this machine so let me unplug this so yeah there's the HEPA filter which actually has some carbon in the HEPA but this is supposed to slide in and it does but I noticed this uh, four light has this big plastic screen and it's protruding from the ceiling gasket. You see this ridge? That's where the ceiling up against that outer filter. So when you try to put this thing on, it's just a giant air gap. It's not sealing against that filter. So let me uh, move this stuff to a, a table. All right, so I'm gonna basically clip off this entire thing. Bear in mind, if you do this, you're probably going to avoid your warranty. There's even a little me sticker on one of the screws, and it's impo it, it's going to be destroyed. I tried removing it on a different unit, and you can't. It just gets destroyed. So <laughs> there's eight Phillips number two heads on here. These four are holding this gray piece to the white body, and then these four are actually holding it to this ring that you see beyond here. So you, you I think you still have to remove all eight. Uh, you should also probably mark what corner belongs where. This index belongs in this corner. So I'm going to just mark those with a pink marker. And let's get this thing open. All the screws are identical, so it's, it doesn't matter what order you pull them out. Okay, so one note is those side locks, they're trapping this gray piece. You can see it move, right? Uh, I'm gonna just do this like this. Try to pull this out a little bit. There we go, there we go. All right, there's a, there's a wire holding this together. So, there it is. So you'll, it's kind of weird, but uh, this wire is crossing over to that side. Yeah, it's strange. Or it's, I guess, wrapping around this curve. So, yeah, you'll see this whole gray body with all the electronics and stuff. That's why you have to remove these inner screws. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, undo this mechanism, this connector here. I don't think there's a lock on it. It's just a little JST 2-pin. You could also remove these two, but, well, you know what, maybe that will be easier. I'll just have to mark one, one of the cables so I know which one belongs where. So this pink one and this thing here. Man, that's on tight too. I don't know if there's a lock. Hmm. It's just a really tight fit. There we go. I actually tore that apart a little bit. Okay. So, side side cut cutters, side nippers, you know, things where it's flat on one side. And uh, basically I just gotta try to 
clip off here flush with this. There's going to be extra material that I'm going to have to clip off after even this is done. But give me a moment, you shall see it. No idea how many there are, but it's a lot. Okay. So you'll see, I think it would be advisable to clip off this tiny bit that's sticking up past the surface. All these tiny ones, because that other filter is going to try to crush down on the, these things. And obviously if they're in the way, look how much this is sticking out. So that's why I can't get that middle filter in. So now I gotta go through this. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, that's gonna be like 40. Forty. Hmm. Forty-eight. Actually, I was closer to fifty. Okay. So now when that other filter, I don't think it's gonna get crushed or in the way as far as crushing those pins and so we just got to put this back and I want to obviously put these cables back on the proper way so this one goes on the inside this pink one I marked goes here make sure the insulator is on it all right then where's that pink index over here oh so make sure the the cable isn't just hanging out in the middle like that move that off to the side Okay, seems good. Uh, you should probably, these are just plastic screws, they're not machine screws. So it's, uh, you do run the risk of stripping the plastic thread if you just use an electric uh, driver like this. And also you wanna have the torque setting low so you don't strip out the whole hole. So this one, uh, the torque setting is very low. That's why uh, I'm not going to use a hand driver. Okay, there. So it's just less resistance. In theory, it's actually you know allowing more air to get through it because it's not being blocked so much by that screen. Although that screen is pretty low restriction. So let's uh, try to put this back on the uh, machine and see if it fits flush. It's flush. There you go. 
yeah, maybe a piece of plastic was in there, yes. So what I think is, you know, since this is called the Smart Purifier 4 Lite, uh, that's one way that they're making it cheap. Uh, so it's less features. By, act, by actually adding that plastic material, you can't use the full filtration technologies that Xiaomi offers. I'm assuming the more expensive units don't have the screen sticking down like that, and so you can actually use both filters. But if you don't mind uh, messing up your warranty and getting some side clippers and some screw and a screwdriver, you know you, you save money that way. Okay, well thanks for watching today. I'll see you later. Bye.